Hey, how you guys doing? What I want to talk about in this video today, and I do apologize in advance because I said I was not going to make another video on this particular topic about that fiasco that's happened in New York, what that happened in New York between those brothers, uh, Sonnet and um, Young Pharaoh and Seti. So I'm going to speak about it, but indirectly because uh, I'm going to make a point. So just kind of bear with me in the video here, and I do apologize for kind of making the same video again, but it's for a reason. I forgot to put some of this information in my last video. But we keep falling into the traps we don't seem to understand that not because everything is popular we need to do it we don't look at things long enough to process the information before we decide to act on what we see the reason I'm, I'm showing this image in the background because I remember watching a video with Seti and he had his AK-47 and, and stuff waving I'm wondering to myself brother do you think I mean you do know who owns the platform right and you guys supposedly tell me you are you at war, right? And you're gonna put yourself out there like that? And then I'm, I'm saying that because I saw some other videos saying we're gonna, we're gonna get some guys to roll up on you and stuff. I'm saying, wait a minute, man. You guys do realize you're on social media, right? And the reason I have this image in the background because these two brothers got arrested for posting images of guns, and which led to the police actually raiding their house and finding gun, not only guns, but drugs. So I'm saying, if you know you have stuff in the house that's not supposed to be there, and you have some guns and stuff in the house that's not supposed to be there, why? I'm asking you, why would you put it out there for the world to see? You can't get mad at anybody when you're the one that told on yourself. Man, we gotta stop thinking, man. That was a trap, and you fell right into it. And there are a lot of our people who keep falling into the traps every day. As I'm saying, why would you have your AK-47 in the background? I mean, come on, man. You got to think, man. Come on, brothers, man. I mean, you guys got to stop being led by your emotions. Your emotions can get you guys in a lot of trouble because you don't think. You see, to me, a lot of us say we studied COINTELPRO, and to me, I, I don't think you guys have. I think you guys look at the world and say, yep, it's good enough. I studied it. There's no way you could have studied Cointel Pro and, and you guys making the kind of mistakes, I mean, ridiculous mistakes I see you guys making every day. There's no way you could have studied it. There's no way. Now, for those of you who don't know what Cointel Pro stands for, let me read it real quick. Cointel Pro, the app that began Cointel Pro, short for Counter Intelligence Program, in 1956 to disrupt the activities of the Communist Party in the United States. In the 1960s, it was expanded to include a number of the other domestic groups such as the Ku Klux Klan, the Socialist Worker Party, and the Black Panther Party. All COINTEL operations were ended in 1971. Although limited in scope, about two-tenths of one percent of the FBI's workload over a 15-year period, COINTEL Pro was later rightfully criticized by Congress and the American people for abridging First Amendment rights and other reasons. Now, you got to go in here and look in the file. Like I said, you can, anybody can go and access this information. It's not um, somehow classified information. This is declassified information. I'm not going to read the whole article. I encourage you to read it on your own. Okay, let's go. The purpose for this new counterintelligence endeavor is to expose, disrupt, misdirect, discredit, and otherwise neutralize the activities of black nationalists. Hate type organizations and groupings their leadership, spokesmen, membership, and supporters, and to counter their propensity for violence and civil disorder. Now, this part is very, very important. No opportunity should be missed to exploit through counterintelligence techniques the organizational and personal conflicts of the leadership of the groups, and where possible, an effort should be made to capitalize upon existing conflicts between competing black nationalist organizations. You, you didn't hear what they said. You, you're, not, you're not listening. They said no opportunity should be missed to exploit through counterintelligence techniques the organizational and personal conflicts of the leadership of the groups where possible an effort should be made to capitalize upon existing conflicts. Existing conflicts. This is written back in 1967, long before I was born. I didn't write it. Don't you guys find it a bit 
odd. I mean, it's too convenient to me to be a coincidence. In the last two months in this community, you had so many problems. You had the problem with Umar Johnson and Doggy Diamonds, Sarnetta and Umar Johnson, Brother Polite and Sarnetta, the conflict, the, the, the altercation between Tariq Nasheed and Tommy. And now you got this new conflict with uh, Sarah Sutinsetti, Young Pharaoh, uh, Sarnetta, and the Amarwa squad. And you guys don't find it a bit too convenient to be a coincidence? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, this is when you have to start really analyzing information. Analyzing information carefully. Because a lot of you guys, you, you tell me you study this stuff. How do I know about it? I wasn't born in 67. Nowhere close to it. But how do I know about it? Because I research. I see a lot of you guys see your researchers. Research. What are you researching? I mean, you guys spending too much time stargazing. You're looking for stargates. Looking all up in outer space and looking for other planets. I mean, have you ever, have ever dawned on you guys that you're already in outer space? You haven't connected dots yet, right? The Earth is in space we are already out of space what are you guys talking about man but you haven't connected dots yet <laughs> i'll go on to read some more articles this this next part i'm going to read is very very key to how they actually disrupted and disbanded the the black panthers original black panthers now the letter i'm going to read comes up later on in my video but i'm going to read it now okay it says Director, FBI, date, April 1st, 1968. Counterintelligence program, Black Nationalist, Hay Groups, Radical Intelligence. It is suggested that the following letter be sent to H. Rap Brown as soon as he gets out of jail. Here goes the letter. Dear Rap, dig this, man. I got it from the inside. Stokely and Foreman sent you to the West Coast so, they, uh, so the man will get you. They're a little too cool for you, Rap Baby. With you out the way, they can have the whole pie, so brother. The above letter, <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh real quick, man, because remember what I said, that they study us? Well, they continue to study us. They, they got it down pat. The above letter, though, the designed to plant seeds of distrust between Brown, Carmichael, Stokely Carmichael, Kwame Ture, and Foreman will be typed double space on plain white paper. The typing of this of the letter and envelope will be handled by NWO, which I don't know what it is. This letter will be mailed from a mailbox in New York City and sent to Brown as soon as his address can be determined. Hmm. You, you guys ain't getting that. And they did a number of this type of um. Use, they use a number of these type of tactics all the time. You see, a lot of times we have our egos wrapped up and we we're so tight. We know, and our egos are so fragile that we don't even stop and think, wait a minute, let me check with my brother, see if he actually wrote this letter, man. You know, we didn't, we didn't think at the time that, you know, that the FBI would use those kind of tactics. The reason I'm saying that, because some of the comments I heard in this, this community, we didn't even fact check the information. We just went ahead and I'm talking about the Umar Johnson, the sign and the, the Polites and the... Was a guy named Sal Sutton said a young pharaoh so we didn't even check the information out some of us some some of the time we just acted you know and that's a dangerous thing because you don't know where the information you have came from who was that person that gave it to you can you trust them with your life and then we always throw around throw around the term everybody's an agent but you know what an agent really is do you really know you think an agent's gonna walk around with an agent t-shirt on most of the time, the best agents they had in history were some of our best friends. I'm not trying to get you looking at everybody sideways now. That's not the point. But if you studied history, Agent 800, back in Garvey's time, was one of Garvey's closest confidants. Garvey didn't know he was an agent. But see, that's what they do. They're not going to deal with somebody you don't trust. They do with somebody you trust. But anyway... You guys got a lot to learn, man. This this game is a lot more complex and a lot more difficult than you think. And with the advent of the internet, 
you guys put all your dirty laundry out there for the whole world to see that we are easily divided we are easily manipulated easily it doesn't take any effort at all i mean we got to be one of the easiest manipulated, manipulated people on the planet but hey i know you won't listen to me i just hope you read the article for yourself the information is there like i keep saying the information is there they're not hiding anything from us it's right there in black and white literally but you wouldn't read it unless these leaders that you do you nominate to be your leader tell you to read it you wouldn't read it you know i don't know i really don't know but you keep falling victim to these traps you keep putting your dirty laundry out there for the world to see you keep putting the guns on the internet you keep saying what you're going to do to your brother man but I, I, I don't hear you really saying you're going to come back the system that's, that actually put us in this condition. No, you're going to, boy, you're quick to roll up on the brother, though. <laughs> quick to degrade a sister to calling her all kind of bees and hoes. I mean, do we stop and think sometimes, man? I, I really don't think so, man. And I really don't think so. The hate, that self-hate. And you guys, it's the funniest thing, though. Some of you guys would be quick to call someone else a self-hater. Because they go outside the race. But look how you guys act and supposedly I'm black, y'all. I'm blackity black and I'm black, y'all. You're so super black. But look how you guys operating. Look at your modus operandi. Hmm? You guys got a lot to learn. My only plea is, guys, stop allowing people to lead you. Do not be a victim of their information. Don't, don't put yourself in a situation where you have to wait for their information or to enlighten yourself. Lead yourself. Do not wait for anyone else to lead you. Lead yourself. You can do a great job by yourself. Because these leaders, as you can see with that fiasco, which I think is a good thing for you to see, they have many, many, many flaws. So don't allow yourself to be strangled hold by their information so you have to wait until the next lecture or the next debate to get information. You can get it on your own. We live in an age of information, and I believe them. I wasn't around in 1968. I wasn't even close to being around in 1967 and 68. Yet, I have the information. I'm not better than anybody else. I'm not the only one that have the information. But I was curious, so I researched it. Man, you guys take it easy. You guys are much better than this, man. You guys are talented, and you guys are smart. Fuck you guys that follow these guys. They're going to do what they want to do. I'm talking about you guys who look up to these guys. Stop doing that. Be your own leader. Be your own guru. Look to yourself for answers. Stop looking to other people to lead you because then you'll always be led by the nose in whatever direction they want you to go and you'll go. Don't allow that to happen to yourself. You guys are too smart for that. Anyway, you guys take it easy. Thank you for bearing with me and I hope this video was not too long. Until next time, take it easy. I'm out.